What's up, riders? Uh, it's Paul with another ride home review, and this week I watched White Boy Rick, uh, which uh, stars uh, Matthew McConaughey, uh, Richie Merritt in the title role, and Jennifer Jason Lee, and is directed by Jan Demange. And before I get into uh, the film itself, don't forget to subscribe to the, my channel on YouTube. Uh, follow on fa like on Facebook, follow on Instagram, all at Ride Home Reviews. At Ride Home Reviews. Um, so, g getting into the, what this uh, movie is about, it's a true story based on um, uh, white boy Rick, who was known as a uh, white drug dealer in mid 80s Detroit. Um, and also known as uh, an FBI informant and um, I spent uh, I believe it was 30 years in jail uh, for his actions so these are all I'm not giving away any of the plot of the movie or anything like that that is just status facts because this is based on a true story what I liked about the film I liked the look and the feel of the film I like that it was based well it has to be based in Detroit um, and it really had that feel of being mid 80s Detroit um, and I thought the acting was spectacular I thought that everybody did a great job um, with the roles that they were given uh, the cast was was great uh, also Bruce Dern was in it it's always good to see see him in a, in a role but uh, so yeah, I mean, technically the film was uh, really, really well done, really well crafted, and um, you could tell the time was put into the look and the feel, um, the costumes, uh, you know, just uh, the whole production design of it all uh, was just very spot on. What I didn't care for the movie was, I'm not sure that this story really needed to be made a movie. Um, it was just, it, if that, if that's the case, it was just slow. It was very slow. The pacing was slow. When they started to ramp it up, they slowed it back down. I mean, I know that they were trying to insert, you know, this family uh, theme into it um, as a thematic element. Uh, but for the most part, I mean, there was some there were some good scenes here or there, but it, there was a lot of things that we didn't need to see or have to experience or witness. It just it just uh, had a little bit of a confusing tone uh, to what the movie was really trying to do. Um, you know, are you trying to? Yeah, I don't know. It was. It was just really. It just the pacing was just off. It was just off in the thing. It was long. It just felt long. Um, it may not have been long, but it felt long, and that's just due to the the pacing of the film and how they chose to take certain directions. Um, what to watch for, I love the scene with the little boy. And you're going to know it when you see it. He steals two scenes, and it's absolutely awesome. Um, and it's too bad, because this movie is shouldn't be... <laughs> the scene shouldn't be stolen by a little kid, but he does it. And he does it... Um, and he does it well. So, um, movie, uh, I guess, yeah, I mean, if you're into Detroit history and Detroit culture, um, yeah, check it out. But other than that, I really wasn't impressed. I really wasn't impressed with this film. So, and there you have it. Ride home review for White Boy Rick. So, until next week, watch something cool. Don't forget, subscribe on YouTube, like on Facebook, follow on Instagram. See you next week.